This week on The Choice. The posse is doing some damage. And you know what's funny? What? Is they're all Ohioans, the Buckeyes. That was awesome, man. I was just out here for a doubt to get some meat in the freezer, but uh, you never know what happens. Hunting is not about the trophy. It's about the challenges that we face as hunters, and it is our choice how we pursue our prey. Hunting doesn't end when you spot your game. That's when the challenge begins. Closing the distance, becoming part of your surroundings, playing the wind, being patient, and waiting for that moment of truth. From the maximum highs to the ultimate lows, there is no way of predicting how things will turn out. For us, it's about the adventure. The journey. The moments that we share as a family. This, this is, is why, why we hunt. hunt. This, this is, is our choice. I got it. Are you sure? Hey, welcome to this week's The Choice. And this week, well, guess what? We're heading to the Buckeye State, the big Buckeye State of Ohio. Yeah, we are. You know, Ohio's kind of a sleeper state for those big deer. I mean, they're getting more and more notoriety of it, but it's kind of a sleeper, isn't it? It is. But, it is. you know, when you start putting it on TV as much as everyone's doing, mm -hmm. it, it's no sleeper no more. No doubt. Well, this week's lucky logo is Rocky. Get rockified with Rocky, whether it's footwear or apparel, Rocky's it. Head to toe. Okay, watch for the Rocky logo at the end of the show. We'll tell you what to do with that. In the meantime, we'll go finish hanging our stands, yep. cleaning and some shooting lanes. Yes. And we'll head out to Ohio with our guys, the posse. Oh, man, See they're doing some damage. See what kind of damage they can do on those whitetails. Yep. That Let's way. Do it. I'll All carry right. everything else. Don't worry. Appreciate it. Yeah. As no, if you're no, carrying no more sweat. than me. You ready for some makeup? Mm -hmm. Cover those pretty little freckles. Bam! <laughs> Are you ready? Yes! I can't wait to get there. September here in Ohio. This afternoon we're trying out Caldwell's new Deadshot tree pod. Just like the Deadshot field pod before it, the tree pod provides an absolutely rock solid steady rest. It's really adjustable on the fly. We're going to see if we can make it happen. See if we can uh, keep still and quiet for uh, long enough for a doe to come out. This is a quick hunt. See that thing? Yeah. Good job staying still and quiet. You're awesome. I like this one. That shot tree body here provided an absolutely rock solid steady rest. That doe probably didn't go 30 yards, so no dragon job here. See that thing? It's 
November 17th. We're here in Ohio on a rainy afternoon. Got uh, pretty gusty winds this afternoon. Tonight's supposed to be 50, 60 mile an hour winds, so hopefully uh, they'll blow us out of our tree tonight. Rut's really kicking in right now. Hopefully we get a crack at a good box. Stay tuned. sheds last year and uh, he just hasn't been grown a whole lot so that's why probably won't score very high but uh, definitely one we're after. We've been calling this one turkey foot because the shed last year looked like a turkey foot so now we just gotta get him out of here back to the truck. It's a big deer. Yeah he is. It'd be fun dragon. It's definitely worth sitting in the rain. Congrats. Thanks. Going into the season, my main goal was to get my girlfriend Dana her first buck. That being said, uh, it wasn't just any buck, it was a buck that uh, she had fallen in love with from trail camera pictures and had seen the year before. This year he's a beautiful four year old eight point and uh, that's what she wanted. This buck became a pretty regular visitor to my food plot and uh, as open week approached I was hoping he would just show up in daylight and we'd get a shot at him. Well as luck would have it, on the sixth day of season, the buck she wanted come topping up over the hill. As this buck came in and started feeding, it looked like we were gonna get a shot at him. So I started getting Dana prepared to uh, take the shot. One of the things I mentioned to Dana as this buck was coming in is she needed to watch the limb to the 10 point crossbow on that uh, support beam there for the blind and make sure she had clearance before she shot. As the buck came in to 40 yards, um, she asked me if she could shoot, and at this point, I'm in full out cameraman mode. And in my mind, I'm thinking, she's asking me, like everybody else that I hunt with, do you have him in frame? Is he in focus? Yada, yada, yada. Um, and I said yes. Well, when she took the shot, um, I found out the question she was asking was not, do I have it in focus? It was, do I have clearance? And uh, that arrow sailed way left and way over that deer's back. Where did that arrow go? I don't know, it flew all kinds of crazy. <sighs> Dana, after missing this buck um, and not being a huge fan of the camera to begin with, um, really didn't have much to say and uh, she didn't want any part of the camera. It's not funny. I'm not laughing, babe. That's what that's hunting. December 10th, hunting in Ohio, late season. Got 
got some good snow today. Decided to come out with the crossbow and uh, use the new Caldwell tree pod. This is pretty slick. Just mount it to your tree stand beforehand. Then you just come in, bring the arm in, stick it down in, and you're good to go. Hopefully we can do some doe management tonight and uh, put the tree arm to test. Down for the count. That was awesome. The old tree pod worked great. I can't believe it. As you've probably seen, it came in. We've probably seen it 100 yards away. Came right down the trail we needed it to. About 17 yards. Put the hammer on it. This thing is awesome. Put it right on it. I'll say it's cold. It's probably 20 degrees. Yes. All right, well, here she is. She only went 40 yards. Used the uh, tree pod from Caldwell with the crossbow tonight. A lot of does. We're seeing 20, 30 does a night. So trying to thin out the herd, do a little management. And this one came in. It's a young one, but uh, it'll be good in the freezer. And uh, I'm pretty excited. Again, she didn't go 40 yards and uh, that Caldwell tree pod, that uh, did the ticket. Hoping to do a little doe managing tonight. Got the uh, Caldwell tree pod set up. First time using it, so uh, pretty excited. Hopefully it hasn't been too pressured this week and the deer aren't too jumpy and we'll see something this evening. So nice snowfall on, so stay tuned. sense and spook them because we'll be back in here with a bow to chase them. Good stuff. Well here she is, a uh, nice big mature doe. We uh, came in tonight to uh, thin out some of the doe numbers on the farm here. I was anxious to use the uh, new tree pod by uh, Caldwell and uh, that thing's pretty slick. It's like shooting from a bench out of your tree stand so definitely be using that more in the future. Nice big doe, big mature doe. She'll uh, fill the freezer nicely. Then on December 21st, a buck that uh, I'd only got one picture of during the summer and a short video of him October 8th um, showed up on one of my food plots. Shortly after getting that picture, we got our first heavy snowfall of the year, and the deer really started hitting my food plot. 
we got our first big snow of the year, so we've been trying to take advantage of it, and we're hunting in um, blind right now over our hunter's specialty food plot we put in over the summer. And we've been getting some cool pictures of a double main beam buck that's been in and out sporadically, so hopefully he'll come out early and we can get a shot at him tonight. It was really cool watching those deer dig in the snow and pull up the big green brassica tops and eat them. The buck was feeding at about 80 yards, um, fed around there for 10 or 15 minutes, and uh, slowly started feeding our direction. As the buck came into 30 yards, I told Dana that she could shoot him whenever she wanted, and just then, something spooked the does and put the field on alert. We just shot the double main beam buck, and it was dark in there, so you couldn't see. But um, it was a perfect shot. We rewatched it. Now we're gonna go find it. Uh, let's go. You got blood? Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. He's spraying. Yeah. There's your arrow. Lots of blood. He's right there. You found him? Let's go get him. You got your first buck, Dan. This is our first big snow of the year. Uh, so we want to take advantage of it. We've been out hunting every night and we got a couple pictures of this one um, just coming in the food pot sporadically, but he came in tonight with a couple does and a little button buck, and it's about five o'clock and we got a shot at him, about 30 yards, and got a good shot, and he ran about 100, and here he is. You got your first buck, baby. Got my first buck. All right, what next, darling? Um. That dead one right there needs to go down. The whole thing? Sure, just that one branch between you and I. Was that a deer hunting show or what? That's it what it's about. It is what it's about. In, in our posse out in Ohio, all you guys did an awesome job. I mean, it's not just about wanting to go out there and hunt those big Ohio bucks. No, it's about. But it's about game management, filling freezers, and getting those kids and getting new the kids out hunting. there. Wise all of you. Way to go. That, that's, that's what it's about. We need to get more of us out there and get them started young, right? Because once you get them started, you know what's you know what the outcome is. They're hooked forever, and Lucky you got a hunting partner forever. Okay, Lucky logo this week was Rocky. Huh. Whether it's foot, footwear or apparel, get rockified with Rocky. If you saw the Rocky logo, you need to log on to choicetv.com, click on Lucky logo button, fill out some information, and Somebody, someone's gonna get some great stuff from Rocky as someone, well as a bunch somewhere. of other manufacturers. Yes. 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 Next week, we're ne gonna head to Northern Manitoba. All right, go on. You're doing such a good For job. Caribou with adrenaline outfitters. 
Come on, it's beautiful up there. It is, it's Big, gorgeous. Big, tundra is open gorgeous tundra. In the it's fall. amazing. We don't have any caribou here in Illinois, but our Amero steps are all set up and we're ready to go, right? Oh, yeah, Lord help Yes? Me. Yes. All right, thanks for making your choice. The choice. See you, See next, you next week. week. Come on, let's go. Let's see. What are you, how'd you hook me? Hey, 